Subscribe to Drama YT and press the bell icon to get the latest videos first of the all. Hey guys, how are you? It's K2 and welcome back to Drama YT. Romantic genres in Chinese dramas is probably one of the most popular genre among VC drama freaks. Even I started my journey in this world of C drama fantasy with a rom-com drama. And if you are new to this genre and wondering which C dramas to go for, then my friend, this video is for you. Cause in this video, I will be counting down my top 10 based heartfelt romantic Chinese dramas which you guys should be watching right now. Maybe the pros among you guys have already watched all the C dramas from this list so you can consider to watch other videos on this channel. As always, check the description box for more information and do comment below that which C drama list you want to watch next. Now give this video a like and let's get to it. Number 10 Go Go Squid, a cute romance between an adorable singer who develops a crush on a guy that she's too scared to approach. He is a genius in the field of computer engineering and a legend in the world of professional gaming. It is late evening when Hang Shan Yan walks into an internet cafe. While helping her cousin wash the shop, Tong Nian catches just a glimpse of Hang Shan Yan and immediately falls head over heels for him. She is usually brave, outgoing and has tens of thousands of followers from singing covers online. But she fumbles whenever she encounters him. She is used to interviews but can't even utter a word when speaking to him. He is cold, hard to reach and not the type of guy to be interested in girls. But Tong Nian's unique personality and her persistent ways to get close to him begin to catch his attention. Number 9. The Love Equations Adorable and bubbly, Zhao Xiao is a favorite among her peers. A university literature student with a penchant for detective novels. She spends her days lost in the pages of her favorite mysteries, always eager to find out what happens next. With such a devoted love of such stories, it comes as no surprise when she finds herself falling for one of the university's forensic science majors, a seriously dedicated student in the forensic science department. Zhao Fan Zhao has little time for anyone or anything other than his studies. Cold and detached, he is the last person anyone would ever expect would fall in love with. Number 8. You Are My Glory A story that follows an aerospace engineer Yu Tu and the signing star Xiao Jingjing. A decision to start gaming in order to save her endorsement deal brings her face to face with an old crush. As they grow closer, the two fog ahead to become each other's glory. Being a well-known celebrity, Xiao Jingjing has to keep up appearances to maintain her multifaceted image. Alas, when it starts to crack, when someone leaks a video of her playing an online game and being just terrible at it, which is completely inconsistent with the image she has created for herself as the game's ambassador. Thus, she joins a gaming competition to prove her skills and to prevent herself from losing her endorsements. Xiao Jingjing decides to use all her free times towards improving her game and her decision leads to reconnect with her old high school classmate Yuto, whom she once had a crush on. He was a legend at their school, outstanding in everything that he does, while Xiao Jingjing was just your average girl. Yu Tu has gone on to become an aerospace engineer who is also an expert gamer. It seems that the online game has brought them together once more, so she asks him to become her gaming coach. Number 7. The Brightest Star in the Sky Star Entertainment is the top entertainment agency in China. It was set up by a couple. Cheng Tianhao and Du Wan Xing, who eventually get separated due to their different beliefs in managing the company. Yang Zhenzhen is an aspiring young girl with a passion for music. She joined Starry Sky Entertainment and was assigned as Zheng Boshu's assistant. Boshu is a popular idol who is arrogant and unruly. With the help of Zhenzhen, who helped him correct his flaws and unleash his potential, Boshu slowly transforms into a talented singer. In the process, Zhenzhen also gains experience and becomes a capable idol manager. At the same time, Du Wan Xing is also grooming a singer, Yu Zurui, who steps up to become Bo Shu's biggest competitor yet. Number 6. Skate into Love A short track speed skating girl crosses paths with the ice hockey god of their school. Despite starting off on the wrong foot, they start on a journey to chase after their dreams. During elementary school, the timid and cowardly Liu Bing had to endure his seatmate Tang Xiu's constant bullying. Even so, they share one thing in common, a dream on the ice. When they meet again at Linda University, Liu Bing has already become the school size god, while Tang Xiu's future remains hazy. 
Liu Bing pulls a few strings to turn Tang Xiu into his helper with the goal of getting payback for everything that she did. The more they spend time together, the more Liu Bing notices Tang Xiu's good qualities. He realizes that his courage on ice is inspired by Tang Xiu herself. In turn, he helps Tang Xiu rediscover her dream in speed skating. Problems arise when misunderstandings from the past catch up to them. Figure skating prodigy Yu Yan enters the picture. Tang Xiu's first love, Bai Sheng, also returns while school beauty Zhao Ran continues to make trouble. As they face roadblocks from the disapproving parents and fiercely competitors, they land in the crossroad that will decide their sports career. As the two impassioned youths put on their skates, they glide into the unknown but exciting future ahead. Number 5. A Love So Beautiful It starts off with high school classmates Chen Xiaoxi and Jiang Chen who are also neighbors. Xiaoxi, a cheerful girl who doesn't study much, is expressive about her admiration towards Jiang Jing, the popular guy known for his looks and high grades. Together with their fellow classmates, the funny Lu Yang, athletic but loyal Jing Xiao, and cool swimming team member Wu Bo Song, they embark on high school life to university until their adult life. Number 4. Go Ahead Probably one of my favorite chi dramas of all time. The story revolves around three troubled youths who find solace in their common experiences to become the best family that they can be for each other. Growing in dysfunctional households, three individuals who are unrelated by blood treat each other like a family as they yearn for the love that they cannot find at home. Eldest brother Ling Xiao, second brother He Zhe Kyu, and the youngest sister Li Xianjian grow up together experiencing life's joy and strife as they support each other's chosen paths. As Ling Xiao and He Zhe Kyu graduate from high school, they return to their original families. Nine years later, the three are reunited, but the heartaches from their complicated family past become a shadow that constantly lingers. Can they finally fix their personal issues to become better versions of themselves? Number 3. When We Were Young A nostalgic story that revolves around high school students during the year 1996. While chasing down a bike thief during the summer, Yangshi gets injured by a lab explosion that renders her unable to compete in a long distance run. When school opens, she realizes that the culprit behind her misfortune has transferred to her class and has even taken her position as class president. He is Hua Biao, a hot-blooded, rash and gentle genius of the science department. Hua Biao's arrival immediately puts his classmate on guard and he must prove himself to be accepted by the class. Later on, they go through lots of ups and downs in life. Number 2. Put your head on my shoulder. On the cusp of graduation, an accounting major searching for her career winds up living with a genius physics student who shakes up her daily routine. Situ Mo is a graduating student. As someone who got used to having her whole life planned out for her, she is at a loss about her future and can't find the courage to make a decision for herself. Because the school districts have must, physics major Gu Wei barks into her life. They clash repeatedly without noticing that they are slowly walking into each other's heart. To their surprise, they accidentally end up having to live together. Number 1. Love is Sweet Jiang Zun is a girl who is allergic to tears and has a double degree in economics and psychology. She is unrestrained and idealistic due to her family's superior background. After graduation, she worked in a philanthropy organization where she pursues her dreams. However, her father's sudden accident leaves her in a dilemma. Eventually, she decides to work in a top investment company to fulfill her father's dying wish. In MH, Jiang Zun meets her childhood playmate Yuan Shuai. However, the current Yuan Shuai is no longer her gentle protector but her rival. In MH, where the culture of wolf instinct is rampant, someone is plotting against Jiang Zun while someone sees her as an eyesore. However, with her kind nature and attention to details, Along with her high EQ and sense of judgment, Jiang Zun eventually attains success in both her career and love life. So that was it guys, the video ends here. I hope you have liked this video. If you have watched the video till here, give this video a like and subscribe to Drama YT. And yet you guys have not followed me on the Instagram handle which is right in front of you. It is called dramayt.k2. Follow me there as well. And I will see you later as always. Your K2. Love, peace and hugs. It's been a pleasure.